All right, guys, today we're playing K's in the Wild Masks. This game just came out March 26th. It's supposed to be a uh, platformer inspired by 90s classics. And uh, we're going to try and play on it with an Xbox One controller here today. And we will see how this game is. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to play original mode. Do a little bit of an extra challenge. So this is a single player game with full controller support. And it's supposed to harken back to the days of 90s games, 16-bit graphics, that kind of thing. So we'll see if it delivers on its promise. The game's currently available on Steam here right now for just over 20 bucks Canadian or 22.79 regularly, so about 19.99 US would be my guess. And I mean, if it delivers on the promise of being a 16-bit platformer with kind of that 90s vibe to it, I mean, it'll certainly be a good game. So, with the cinematic playout, and we'll give it a try. Does look like a 90s video game. Double jump. Oh, and they collect letters just like in Donkey Kong. That's exciting. I don't really know what crystals are do for us yet. Oh. Oh. Donkey Kong style. Ooh, is that a bonus level? Holy total Donkey Kong vibes. There's two bonus levels per stage. See, all these vegetables are bad. Oh, there's another one. Okay.
Alright, can't take any hits while you're in a bonus stage. both halves of the bonus stages. Let's see if that pans out to be anything in the future here. That's the end of the first world. Get all the crystal. Then this must basically work as the overworld. I'm actually pretty impressed with this so far. And it is basically a die you have to actually start all over here. You like you can use the D-pad too, like not a lot of platformer games let you do that anymore. Oh no, I did it again! Alright, third time's a charm, right? figure out how to jump here, jeepers. There we go, we made it. It only took three tries. a guy there. Oh no, I missed! Ah! 
I think I play this like Mario because I usually like I make hand on the the Y key and it's not the smartest idea in this game. There hasn't been so far anyway. Oh no! Oh, that's close. It's the first bonus level I found. Marked out crystals. Oh, this will be fun. Mm, yeah, I'll try one more time. Never mind, no thanks. Garbage. That wasn't so bad, except for my jumps in the water there. Oh, we need all the secrets for that one. That's interesting. Maybe we'll play one more here. All right, Thorny Tree, World 1-4. that there's different music for each one of these. Cool. Oh, and bird levels. It's totally Donkey Kong. Goodbye to me. All the crystals. Hopefully, this is better than that. Very cool. That wasn't so hard. All right. Oh, it is totally spikes. Does that reminds you of anybody, Donkey Kong? Oh, whoops. I like how inspired by the classics is almost like copied from the classic. Which isn't a bad thing, I mean. In the Donkey Kong series of games was
doesn't need flying. Oh wait, this is tough. Let's go one more. There we go. Oh, that's close. Alright. Good work. Controls are pretty Of what you'd expect compared to like a Super Nintendo game, these controls are just about spot on. They pretty much are spot on, I guess. Alright, two. There it is. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there. This is K's and the Wild Masks. Uh, very, very similar to 90s platform games. I think this game takes a lot of inspiration from Donkey Kong in particular. Um, a lot of the levels, enemies, that kind of thing that we've seen so far have been very much what you'd expect from a Donkey Kong style game from Super Nintendo era. And yes, we're a, kind of a bunny and we put on masks to change who we are, but in essence, it's very similar in terms of gameplay, game style, that kind of thing. So this is available on Steam. It just came out March 26th and price wise, it's quite reasonably looking at regular price $22.79 Canadian or about $19.99 US. And you know, for a $20 game, this game is feels great, it's fun, it's hard, but it's not too hard. And there's approximately 30 levels, or a little more than 30 levels in the game. So, I mean, it'll keep you playing for quite a while. Um, hopefully in the future they put some kind of co-op style part to this game where you can play with a friend, because that, that would really capture the essence and the magic of kind of the Super Nintendo era of gaming. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. So if you play this game, leave a comment in the comment section below. And otherwise, thank you for watching today. We'll catch you in the next video.